loathed, feared, now under attack. Only Eyewitness News has the details on Philadelphia parking officers being attacked on the job. Disturbing new numbers show how dangerous their job has become. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright has details you'll only see here on 3. Janet Lang had just printed a $76 ticket for a car parked in a no-stop zone when the driver came back and got nasty. The gentleman came running down the street and said, he's moving, he's moving, but it was too late because I already started. He got mad. He went around and got into his vehicle, wind his window down, started spitting at me, pulled out his private parts, spat at me some more, and then he took off. Lang isn't the only PPA officer attacked on the job. Megan Gallagher says a woman punched her twice in the face because she thought her boyfriend was going to get a ticket. My face split open because she got me twice, so I was bleeding everywhere and it was just awful. Over the past uh, three years, assaults and incidents against the parking enforcement officers or those who issue the tickets um, has risen dramatically, going from 12 incidents and assaults in 2018 to 58 in 2021. The total number of incidents is even higher when you count towing and booting officers, going from 73 in 2020 to 286 in 2021. Why do you think the numbers are going up? I think it's a lot of reasons. I think, you know, so many things going on in the world have made people angry and divisive. The man who sexually assaulted Lang was eventually arrested and convicted. The woman who attacked Gallagher was never found. All they're asking for is respect. These people just want to do their job. It's a difficult job. They come in and do it every day. They just want to make it home to their families. The Philadelphia Parking Authority is offering more training to its officers to help them de-escalate tense situations. If you got a parking ticket that you would like to contest, you can do so by filling out a form on the PPA website or writing a letter to the Bureau of Administrative Adjudication. Live in University City, Madeline Wright, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Madeline, thank you.